Hello everyone. Welcome back to another episode of RNL Guns. If y'all remembered on our last video, it was towards the it was on the end of the video where we talked about the switch gun. Well, today is the day. We're gonna be doing an unboxing and as good a review as we can on it. And then we're gonna take it over and shoot some targets. We're here at the range. That's what I promised we were gonna do. That's what's gonna happen. So stick around. You gotta wait for this one. Well, here it is, guys. The switch gun by Standard Manufacturing. Um, it's just really cool. It's a really, really, really cool firearm. It's not a whole lot, in, you know, in the box, but we're gonna open it up and let you take a look at it. So let's take the top lid off of it here. Set that aside. And this is how it comes packaged. This is what it looks like in the package. Now, in the base of it, it does have your, your lock lock there has the um and it says right here that your gun was shot and tested and fired and then this talks about the fire the, um, the hammer it says attempting to close the firearm with the hammer in the full cock position uh read this manual fully before operating this firearm. So I already know that it won't close with the, uh, with the hammer cocked. So that we do know. And there is your manual. And it comes, it's in pretty detailed. I mean, it's not, it's not too bad. There's really not a whole lot of moving parts on the firearm itself. So it's not a whole lot you gotta go through. Um, but, uh, so you got that, all right, and Check this out, guys. Look at this. You get a sticker, but not just one. You get two. So you have one on the wife's or girlfriend's car, and or one on the husband and boyfriend's car, whichever you, whichever it works for you. So let's put that back in here. Okay. Now that's in there. Let's pull this switch gun out. Let's take a look. Let's take a good look at it. Okay, it's pretty, pretty compact. It's only, you know, about three and a half inches wide, uh, about two and a half tall, and it's about, it's about an inch thick, but it fits in your pocket perfectly. I mean, no problems at all. You, can't, you don't even hardly know it's there. Um, and uh, the way you, you operate this firearm, if it is in your pocket and you wanna pull it out and shoot it, or just pull it out and put it away. You see this little button right there? This little slide knob. Right there. All you do is grab a hold, pull it up, and it pops right out. Just that simple. Very, very easy. Not, not hard at all. Um, and of course, firing it, you have to pull the hammer back every time you're going to fire it. The trigger is located right there. So we're going to cock that back forward. And it does have a safety. If you'll look real close, this barrel has um, little notches cut out in it right there. You see that? See that little notch right there? Well, what you'll do is you'll line that up where the uh, hammer is and you push it in place. And that way, if this ever gets hit or if you drop the firearm, it's not gonna go off. Um, it, it's got it locked in between the cylinders where, the, where your bullets are lo located at. So that makes it very, very simple. And to uh, fold it back up, you push up on this lever right here, push up on that, it folds, and just pull it and it, it snaps shut. It's very simple. Like I said, not a whole lot to talk about as far as, as far as that. Now, to load this gun, you've got this little piece right here. You want to pull down on it and pull it out. And just set that aside. Pull your hammer back about, somewhere about, about halfway or close to it, not, or not quite halfway. And then there's your, your barrel to uh, put all your rounds in it. Now to put it back in, same thing. Pull this down, slide this back in, take your pin that you just took out, set it in the bottom, like that. And once it's in there, you want to pull down on this, slide it shut, and that's it. Now see, it's ready to go again. Every time you, every time you cock it, it's going to go, you know, rotate the barrel. So 
I think it's pretty neat. It really is. I mean, it's very compact and you got five shots instead of one. I know I did a review on the life card and you know, that's a one and done deal there. So at least you got five with this one. So that helps out a whole lot. So I tell you what, um, this is, let's see, we're going to be shoot. This is what we're going to be firing through it. And these are the, um, CCI Magnums. They're the 22 WMR high powered. Um, we're going to run these through it and see what happens. So, uh, hang tight. It won't be much longer. We'll get this thing loaded up for you. Hopefully we can show you just how to do this. All right. Now remember, you're going to pull this down. Pull the hammer back just a little bit, enough to get the barrel out. And you're going to take your rounds. You're going to slide them in there just like that. And five. Okay, put it back in. And you can put it in on either side. You don't have, it, don't have, it doesn't matter what side you put it on. Just as long as you pull the hammer back just a little bit to get the barrel back in there. All right, and then you take your, your pin. Slide your pin back in there, pull it forward. And that's it. Now it's in there. Okay. So now I'll stick it in my pocket and let me get you over to the target. Hold tight. All right. Now that we're all set up, we've got a little target right there, just uh, right on the tree there. Um, just to, just to see how well it performs. Hey, and a guy brought his ear protection this time. And I sure am glad because I mean, last time I got phone calls for two weeks. All I heard was ring. Yeah, so I made sure to bring them this time. Uh, smart move on my part. So any who's, let me get these here all unraveled here. There we go that way. And these are the ones made by Winchester. Uh, they got, got, they got a battery in them. So when you turn it on, it, it's, you can hear normal, but as soon as it hears that loud noise, it just mutes it right out. So I'll be having to put them on and take them off for a few times here and there. Okay. All right. Enough with the, uh, enough with the rambling. Let's, let's see what this thing's going to do. Oh yeah. Can't hear nothing. All right, here we go. Okay. First round of the switch gun. All right, a guy's going to use two hands, you know, because I just, I got to steady it. You know, just gonna, I'm just going to do two hands just to steady it. It doesn't have a kick. It doesn't kick much at all. So here we go. And it might take me a couple shots just to get the use, you know, kind of get used to how to aim it because it, see, it doesn't have a sight on it. See, there's no sight. So, God's got to get used to that. All right, let's see. All right. Oh, that's pretty daggone accurate because I kind of pulled a little bit because the trigger's a little stiff. So that's, that's pretty good. I mean, let's, let's do this again. Not too bad, not too bad at all. What I started to do was, if my first shot was right here, and then I wanted to try to hit the nine, and then I wanted to try to hit the eight, then I come back and try to hit the nine again. But what I'm noticing, um, my, my preference, the trigger's really, really stiff. It's very, very hard to pull. So it's causing me to pull the gun over to the right every time I, Squeeze, I can't hear myself talk. Every time I um, try to, you know, squeeze the trigger, it, it's, it's pulling the gun to the right because it, it's so hard to, to match this trigger. So far, that's my only um, negative, I would say. You got, well, pros and quos. I, I would say this was, this was a con. Um, the trigger is very, very stiff.
So let's let's try this again. Let's get her loaded up. All right, remember, pull this tab down, slide it out. Pull your barrel, your hammer back just a little bit enough to slide your barrel out, and that's it. You got them. Now we dump all these out. Um, we'll have to use this thing here to get some of them out because some of them are. We just use the pin that holds the barrel in. That so just slide them right out. So there we go. There we go. Come on, you little devils. There we go. Okay. Let's get five more. This is fun, guys. I love coming on the range shooting. Um, a guy just don't have a whole lot of time to do it. That's the only problem. With everything else I got going on. And, you know, Arnell Guns is pretty much just a, just a small business. It's not... It's not like your, your big dog businesses, you know, it's just more or less. I still have another job that I have to do, too. So with, with doing that and, you know, and running r &L and doing all the videos, and it, 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 uh, a guy spends a lot of time in it now, I'm going to tell you. Okay, we're all back together again. Let's do it again. Let's put my, my deafeners on. And it, it sure has helped. Cause, man, these things are loud. All right, we're gonna go, we're gonna try to shoot for the bottom nine, which is gonna be right, right here. That's what we're gonna try to shoot for now. So let's see if we can get that there. All right, back it on up a little bit, okay. Here we go, but this trigger's so hard to pull. All right, there's the number nine, get it in there. Yeah, that in there was the wrong nine. But again, it's, I'm, I'm, it's, I'm pulling it, and that, that sucks. I wish the trigger wasn't that hard. I'll try it again. That was a little better. I just kept holding it, holding it, squeezing it, squeezing it. That one there was off a little bit. God, that thing's hard to pull. All right, that was, uh, I think this is my last round. Um, let's try to, since it's pulling on me, let's, let's, let's go to this one right here. Let's try to get that one. But man, that thing is hard to pull. God, that's a hard trigger. That's like a 14 pound trigger on this thing, I swear. That looks like a shot right up there. I was trying to hit here. Well, there's no sense I don't think doing any more. I mean, we're just basically doing the same thing, but I can't hear. I can't hear nothing. Um, I would recommend it. I really would. I mean, that's, that's not bad. I mean, it's not bad at all. I'd highly recommend it. It's a really nice gun. I mean, especially the compactness of it. You can't, that's, that's small for a revolver, guys. I mean, that's, that's nice. It really is. Um, I highly recommend it. Yeah, go out and get you guys one or contact us and we'll see what we can do to help you out. Um, but yeah, very, very nice. Um, and like I said, no recoil. Has no recoil at all. But the trigger, I, I just can't, I can't get over the trigger. That trigger is hard to pull. Whew, man, is it hard to pull. Um, wonder if there's an adjustment, you know, maybe, maybe some way I can go in and adjust that and make that a little better. You know what I'm saying? Um, that, that is stiff. It really is. Well, guys, gals, fellows, fellets, I want to thank y'all for coming out to the range with me and going over this switch gun by standard manufacturing um y'all let me know what you think you, your thoughts are on it i know you probably hadn't had one in your hand or if there is anybody out there that does have one of these um and they know any way of uh loosening that trigger up some hey hit me in the comments below i'd really like to know 
because it is it's really a tough trigger to pull it, it messes with you trying to to hit your target as um you're you're having to pull so hard and and it's it makes it difficult to uh stay on point i think the best shot i had was the was the first shot and uh well no the second shot too was pretty good but um yeah let me know i really appreciate it um thank you guys again and if you haven't subscribed please do so please hit that thumbs up and that bell button and subscribe for us we'd really appreciate it again we're a small business and we're trying our best to get out there thank you guys so much and we will see y'all on the next one